She's gonna sign it. Surrounded by family, friends, and a new generation of fans, Cayman's national hero, Sybil McLaughlin, quietly signs copies of a book about her life. Thank you so much for all you've done. Ms. McLaughlin says there is a lot to be learned from the first Speaker of the House and the first female clerk of the Legislative Assembly. To G-A, G-A-Y. Uh, so many firsts that she did that, you know, I didn't, wasn't aware of, and I'm just amazed that what this, as I said, this little island girl from South Sound, who ran around barefoot and went fishing and swimming and played with her aunt's chickens and grew up to have such an impact on, on these islands. From developing the rules that govern Parliament today to insisting on the Hansard, a word-for-word -word transcript of what happens in the Legislative Assembly, Ms. McLaughlin certainly made her mark on Cayman. That's my six granddaughters. Another former House Speaker, Mary Lawrence, sees the book as an important part of Cayman's parliamentary history. Everywhere in that Parliament is Miss Sybil's handprint. You know, and I think it's fabulous that she has now put it in a book that generations to come will be able to read. She is hoping the book will ensure a new generation learns of the contributions made by Ms. Sybil and her peers. She worries that too few know of those who built the country we all enjoy today. Our young people need to know who our heroes are. I spend time telling my grandchildren about the people that have built this country. I think it's important for them to know this. May I burden you with these? Cayman's current Premier Alden McLaughlin agrees. I hope the book finds its way into the hands of many of our people, our young people in particular, and into the schools, but also into the hands of people who come here, um, or who have come here in more recent times, and help them get a better appreciation of the stuff on which Cayman has been built.